The reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 to 31. It's from the Good News Translation. One body with many parts. Christ is like a single body which has many parts. It is still one body, even though it is made up of different parts. In the same way, all of us, whether Jews or Gentiles, whether slaves or free, have been baptized into the one body by the same Spirit, and we have all been given the one Spirit to drink. For the body itself is not made up of only one part, but of many parts. If the foot were to say, because I am not a hand, I don't belong to the body, that would not keep it from being part of the body. And if the ear were to say, because I am not an eye, I don't belong to the body, that would not keep it from being part of the body. If the whole body were just an eye, how could it hear? And if it were only an ear, how could it smell? As it is, however, God put every different part in the body just as he wanted it to be. There would not be a body if it were all only one part. As it is, there are many parts, but one body. So then the eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you, nor can the head say to the feet, well, I don't need you. On the contrary, we cannot do without the parts of the body that seem to be weaker. And those parts that we think aren't worth very much are the ones which we treat with greater care. While the parts of the body which don't look very nice are treated with special modesty, which the more beautiful parts do not need. God himself has put the body together in such a way as to give greater honour to those parts that need it. And so there is no division in the body, but all its different parts have the same concern for one another. If one part of the body suffers, all the other parts suffer with it. If one part is praised, all the other parts share its happiness. All of you are Christ's body, and each one is part of it. In the church, God has put all in place. In the first place, apostles. In the second place, prophets. And in the third place, teachers. In those who perform miracles, followed by those who are given the power to heal, or to help others, or to direct them, or to speak in strange tongues. They are not all apostles or prophets or teachers. Not everyone has the power to work miracles or to heal diseases or to speak in strange tongues or to explain what is said. Set your hearts then on the more important gifts. Amen. join together in prayer. Lord God, once again we are gathered here in your presence to worship you, to learn of you, to thank you for the good things you give us, and to pray for those in need of support, encouragement, and comfort at this time. We pray especially for the country and people of Tonga, still coming to grips with the devastation and destruction caused by the volcanic eruption and the two tsunami that followed it. We are thankful for the many government and NGO and organisations providing relief to the people of Tonga. And we pray that the aid now arriving in the country will not only meet the immediate needs of the Tongan people, but will also give them hope that before too long they will again be enjoying lives like those they had before the disaster. We pray that those working for aid agencies will have the wisdom and dedication needed 
for the task of ensuring that their aid is truly effective. Lord, we also pray for those in many parts of the world where there is poverty, where there is insecurity, where there is injustice, and especially where there is open hostility. We think especially of the people of Afghanistan, of the Tigray people in Ethiopia, the people of West Papua in Indonesia, and the people in Ukraine living under the daily threat of the Russian invasion. Lord, we pray for those seeking to bring aid, peace and security to those places. Grant them patience, wisdom and the resources they need to do the, the, this work. We thank you that from whatever countries and agencies they may come, they can still be agents of doing the work of your kingdom on earth. We pray for members of our own congregation in special need of your love and comfort at this time. We think of those who are unwell, those struggling to cope with work or family pressures, and those facing difficult decisions. We pray that your spirit will be with them to comfort them, to reassure them, to restore their spirits, and to bring them peace of mind. And help us, Lord, as we continue our journey through life, to use our eyes that we may see the world more clearly, to see its goodness and rejoice in it, to see its woes and seek ways in which to address these and make your kingdom a little more real each day. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, it's in keeping with the discussion today that we should just take a few moments to dedicate the offerings and all the forms that offering takes in this community. During the week, Barbara said to me, oh, it was great to be acknowledged for the flowers outside, but don't forget to acknowledge Laurie for doing the watering of the plants. <laughs> and so we should, because that's important work. Uh, we know what happens, some of us, if we put plants in dry soil. We learn the hard way. <laughs> and uh, also, you might notice in the internal garden, there's a hose reel, and uh, Laurie has put that up. Uh, pretty quick work, I think, Barbara. Yes, I'll be pretty four hour turnaround. Yeah, pretty fast. <laughs> so, so thanks, thanks for all the giving, and um, uh, and Laurie also acknowledged the giving that is happening in support of Tonga at this time in the Pacific, and we would be thinking of lots of causes and times when we are giving, and times when we are receiving, and so in that spirit, let's say a short prayer. Loving and accompanying God. We dedicate all the giving through this community. We know that sometimes we are in a position to give, sometimes we are the receivers. People are not divided into those two groups. People are giving and receiving all the time, giving with presence, care, a smile, a question, money, food support, in so many ways. And people are receiving those, those spiritual gifts which when shared do not make anything reduce but grow the abundance for all. So we dedicate all the offerings and all the forms they take and we are grateful to do this in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've got to say thank you to the team who organised Cafe Church. I've been a bystander but I've been privileged to be given this job. <laughs> I'm just wondering if there are any notices. We are going to sing, please, Barbara, to Rachel, whose birthday we omitted to acknowledge yesterday. We can't let Rachel go by without the song. <laughs> but, uh, and Helene, thank you for sharing the invitation to come to quiet. Um, much of a special evening each month. Are there any notices anyone cares to share? Robin says she's a bystander, but all those beautifully laid out tables, flowers and cloths are Robin. <laughs> but, uh, no, I think we all of us like to think we can rely on each other. We're all parts of one body and uh, all function better that way. May the discussions we have had today at Cafe Church continue to grow. May our connections with one another develop even more and spread to others. Knowing that finite disappointments are overcome with the infinite love of God. 
May the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore and evermore. Amen. 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 Amen.